we've got um, a new person coming in on the feedback with some dice. Neutral news. We really need to address this whiteout room. Well, neutral, since you're a first time you're here, I suggest going back and, and watching some of the previous pods. Michigan doesn't need to address the wide receiver room. They've got an excellent wide receiver room. They've got a good enough wide receiving room to win the national championship. Now, if you're comparing it to the Ohio State uh, wide receiver room, you know, half of the teams in the NFL will take the Ohio State wide receiver room over uh, what they have. Uh, I, I think you have fallen into, and most of the people have, and even half of the analysts, even their whoever your your favorite Michigan commentator is. Uh, there's nothing, because you have to look at something. There's nothing on offense that you could look at and say, well, boy, Michigan, except wide receiver. And yet, I think Roman Wilson's a lot better than you think he is. I think Cornelius Johnson can be a lot better than you think he is. I think that Colston Loveland is damn near a wide receiver, and with the catches that Bell and Schoolmaker, and I'll put all in there because it's a tight end position, I think Loveland uh, could you know triple the production that he had last year. I think that's all very reasonable, actually, when you go and break down the numbers. Now, I don't know, Peyton O'Leary, uh, the way that he looked, and you know uh, uh, Tyler Morris or Darius Clemens or one of the three, Freshman wide receivers, I think, I don't want to say you need to go check yourself, but this pops up about once every week or so. Some of you guys that are out there listen to some of these other Michigan pods and hell, they're getting thousands of views and these guys, guys, guys sitting up there talking about the Michigan wide receiver room really needs to be addressed, folks. No, it doesn't. Bad take. No, it doesn't, neutral news. You're wrong. AJ is not really worried about the wide receivers. We don't throw to them anyways. We got some dog tight ends. Well, Antoine, you must have missed last week. Let's see. Did I save it maybe just for you? I did. Jim Harbaugh, uh, last week down in Detroit, I think it was on Thursday, Jim Harbaugh came out and said that he sees this offense being 50-50. And before you start typing away that this is going to be coach speak, he did say he bet. When it's all said and done, it'll be pretty darn close to 50-50 the amount of times that we throw it to the amount of times we run it. And when you look at the run-pass ratio from last year, that means Michigan's going to have to throw it a lot more. They want to throw the ball a lot more than they did last year. Now, look, we talk about this maybe every day. When you have Donovan Edwards and Blake Corum, the two best running backs in the entire country, number one and number two, why are you going to go away from that? You have an offensive line that could be the best in the country, the most physical in the country. Pro football focus, when they rank their their centers in terms of running the ball, who is the best at run blocking? Drake Nugent, who's coming in for Michigan. So Michigan has a road grader offensive line. They have the two best running backs in the country. They're going to run the football. And they might run it, you know, a little bit more than, you know, you'd want. But knowing that Michigan wants to take the next step, and they're right there where, I mean, you're they're in a, a great spot now. It is being more lethal in their passing game. I think they showed you what they were able to do with their passing game when it clicked, starting with the Ohio State game going to the Purdue game and against Texas, against TCU, unfortunately with the two picks, of course, that uh, put in there. But I believe that Michigan has the talent and the ability to use the passing game and the wide receiving game. And I think, you know, if you just want to follow everything that's going on, that's fine. But if you want to take a step back and think about 
put yourself in the meeting rooms. Put yourself in the idea of how can Michigan get better. It is working that passing game a little bit more. It's not looking at the wide receivers and saying, this wide receiving room needs a lot of work. Or however, uh, what's his name, put it. Or having one of your biggest fans be down on the team because they run the football and win the Big Ten two years in a row. Brian says the toughest part about the Michigan's receiving room slash recruiting is they need to know how to block before they see the field. I think the toughest part of the Michigan's recruiting wide receivers is that the receivers come in and they say, you guys, you guys never throw the ball. Like so It'd be like Antoine coming in. You guys don't throw the ball enough. And, you know, do you think Michigan realizes that? Do you think Michigan's answer is, yeah, you're right. We don't. Learn how to block. I think they know that. And to get more wide receivers, that they're going to have to do that. And, oh, by the way, quarterbacks like Jaden Davis. And they say, hey, Jaden, just work on your handoff. That's all you need to do is come in here. I think that is going to be the biggest part. I think this is a good way to put it. JC has faith in Harbaugh to open it up a bit more now that JJ has had a full season under his belt. Experienced quarterback with a full season under his belt. Good point. You know, I would be more emphatic about Michigan opening it up with JJ because I, I think that That's what I see. I'm I'm with you. I do know that Harbaugh, like all coaches, hates turnovers from the quarterback position and and stresses that the number one thing is that the quarterback needs to take care of the ball. And that last game, you know, throwing two pick sixes. Now, as long as J.J. plays like he did through the first 13 games of the season, I think Michigan is going to. This is a caveat. I, I see the the passing game and what Harbaugh said being close to 50-50. They are going to throw it more and try to connect downfield more. The caveat is if they're if they're turning it over. Then I think Harbaugh could go into a shell and tell more just to run it every time. Thanks, Gary. Gary indicates good show. Hit that like button on, on YouTube, Gary. Antoine would like to see Michigan run some route concepts for the backside of the backfield, like the old school Bill Walsh West Coast offense. You know, last week, Antoine, it was interesting. I was listening to Jim Harbaugh talk uh, in his second year as a coach when he was at San Diego. He was doing a coaching clinic, and that that clinic's online. And he was talking about the coaches. You know, he started Bill Callahan when he was with the Raiders and working in the film room, and then. Al Davis, you know, he worked and was in the draft room, was able to watch the Raiders and and Al Davis. And then he was going through Infante, you know, his coach, Ditka, his coach, when he was with the Bears. He talked about running the football with Ditka. And then he mentioned Bill Walsh. And he mentioned, uh, you know, working with Bill Walsh. And, and I do think you have two running backs who both can catch the ball and – I think that getting them the ball more out of the backfield or flaring them out, putting them actually, you know, as wide receivers and throwing them the ball, it seems like something that they should do. The reason that they might not is that, you know, JJ might have a difficult time throwing some of those, uh, you know, flare passes or screen passes, but maybe he's gotten better at that. There's only so many plays in the playbook, you know, it would be another one. But, you know, they're they're both – they both look like, talking about the running backs, that they have pretty good hands. I mean, we know what Edwards has. And, you know, I've Corum has caught the ball. So I, I think that – it was surprising that they didn't do it more last year. That was what I was getting at. So, yeah, I would think that they would do that more this year. Right? Okay, 
We got one more. We got three more. Everybody can't play for Michigan and isn't built to play for Michigan. That's why the players that commit to Michigan usually stick around and don't transfer because of the style that they choose. You, you'd like to think that. I, I think that most uh, top programs you like feel that way. But yeah, I mean, like I'm not here to. I'm not here to uh, throw a wet blanket on what you're saying there. JC says the way JJ responded against those mistakes said a lot about him and gave Jim more confidence in, in him, in my opinion, in that game, the way he responded. Uh, you might be right about that. And then finally with AJ says the linebackers can't keep up with Donovan or Blake, especially Donovan. That would be a nightmare for any team to defend. It would be, you know, the one that I think uh, AJ is against uh, Michigan state. And it was in the first half and, and Edwards ran. Usually you don't see a route where the receiver runs straight down the middle of the field, but that's what Donovan Edwards did. He ran probably 20 yards, maybe 15 yards straight down the middle of the field. And he had a linebacker on him. He put a little move and then, you know, cut in. JJ hit him with a pass. It probably went up for 30, 40 yards. It was so easy. Donovan Edwards on a linebacker. Yeah. I like it. And I know they, you know, against Rutgers, you know, flared him out and had him going down the sideline. Then he, you know, caught one in the end zone. But, uh, down the middle of the field, you know, it is, it's there. We do think about a lot of what happened last year. They want uh, just new wrinkles, different things. And slants, jump balls, screens, those were three things they did not do a lot. I mean, Michigan was undefeated last year. So when you're undefeated, I think you get a little bit of a break about, oh, where the hell was it? Well, I don't know there's, it worked. What they did worked. And, you know, getting down and maybe throwing some more slants. If I get a chance to talk to Ron Bellamy or Jim Harbaugh or, oh, Kirk Campbell or Sharon Moore, you know, talking about slants and screens and jump balls and, uh, you know, how often they're going to go to that and throw the ball. Uh, I think, you know, there's something that I would ask. I'm right with you on there. 